Greetings dear friends on my channel where I explain different movies and songs. Today I will try to explain the meaning of the film Inception, Christopher Nolan's masterpiece, which has already become a cult movie, never ceases to excite the minds of viewers. The impeccable script of this spectacular action film leaves so much information for pondering that one or even two viewings may not be enough. I will outline here my version of the meaning of Inception, as well as a couple of other theories I have encountered. Of course, I will also analyze the ending of the film because it is the one that raises the most questions. In my opinion, Inception is, first of all, a great example of how beautiful and profound a heist film can be. The closest relative in this genre is the legendary Ocean's Eleven. Although the film poses some pretty serious questions, the masterful teamwork of the characters in Inception remains in the foreground. I suppose the obvious similarities between the plot of Inception and Ocean's Eleven will not be denied. The characters in both films have the same mission, to get into some kind of protected space, in our case, Robert Fisher's mind, in order to gain riches, in Inception, instead of robbing, there is the implementation of an idea but the result of these actions are the same. In both, the teams make serious preparations for the hijacking, and their work together, calculated in seconds and perfectly coordinated, will thrill anyone. But there are also special features that make Inception such an unusual film. Notice that in Inception, the characters say very little about what they will get for their work. We know that Dominic Cobb will get his freedom, Sato promises to bring him back to his homeland, to his children. We also know that Sato will completely destroy his competitor and take over the market. But no one mentions the monetary reward, although it's evident that the team members could take such a risk only for a great deal of money. However, during the preparations and the implementation itself, no one mentions money. For all team members, the main thing is the process, they have truly unique skills and are happy to put them to work. They have to solve the most difficult tasks, but they do not give up because they're driven not just by profit but also by the desire to test themselves and come out as a winner. We see almost no arguments, no disagreements in the team. Dominic Cobb's consciousness is the only, but very serious, source of trouble. Oh, yes, his consciousness which, time after time, tosses a projection of his dead wife, Maul, into Ariadne's skillfully created dream spaces. The catch is that the mission would fail without Cobb, after all, he's the chief implementation specialist. But Cobb is the man whose consciousness can destroy everyone. Meanwhile, Cobb prefers to hide his problems from the team and does not show them the reason for Maul's appearance, and that causes a heavy sense of guilt that he is experiencing. But we see that even this unwilling sabotage on his side can be overcome by the combined efforts of the team. Moreover, one of the members of the project, Ariadne, the architect, is eager to help Cobb and does a great deal to get him out of both guilt and Maul's omnipresent projection. So the meaning of Inception, in my opinion, is that one person's problems can be solved together, and any serious case can only be accomplished by working as a team. In addition, the film shows us a story about gaining life experience. Cobb and Mole used the world of dreams for their personal purposes and got caught up in it. Mole ceased to distinguish between dreams and reality. So Cobb tried to bring her back to reality by uttering the phrase, Your world is not real. But his attempt turned out to be a tragedy. Mole had finally lost her sense of reality and killed herself depriving him of the opportunity to return to his homeland and see his children. Thus Cobb unwittingly became an implementation specialist. He had gained necessary experience but at too great a cost. The payback was constant guilt and the image of Maul haunting his dreams. Finally, with the help of Ariadne and others, Cobb is able to cope with himself and, overcoming his guilt, reaches happiness, returning to his family and children. In fact, there are a huge number of theories about what Nolan wanted to say with Inception. For example, I've encountered the following, the characters in Inception are a metaphor for different sides of the same person. 
Yusuf symbolizes rationality, Arthur symbolizes ingenuity, Ariadne symbolizes creativity, Sato, wisdom, aims, adaptability, Cobb, leadership qualities, and Maul, the vulnerable side of the man. If you are familiar with literary history, you know that the same opinion was voiced about Dostoyevsky's The Brothers Karamazov. Indeed, this version has as much right to exist as any others. Another rather interesting concept is that in Inception, Nolan has clearly demonstrated the process of making a film. Cobb is the director who is given the assignment to make the film. Ariadne is the cameraman, and the rest are other crew members. Sato is a wealthy producer who runs the process. Consistently creating dream levels, the characters sort of give meaning to their new film. Although this version seems to me too far removed from the actual events of the film, it also has a rational basis. I cannot list all the existing versions, that's almost impossible. By the way, you probably have your own, and I'm sure it's worth reading, too. Whatever all these circlings through the dream levels mean, the audience wants to know, is Cobb awake or stuck forever in limbo? Will the spinner fall? Nolan himself has spoken out on the subject with obvious displeasure, noting the audience's interest in the question. According to the director, whether or not Cobb woke up is not essential. The key is that Cobb stopped asking himself. He didn't wait to see if the spinner would fall. He put away the past and guilt toward Maul, returned to his children, and finally allowed himself to be happy. That's what allowed him to survive, and what ruined Maul was that she couldn't stop asking questions. Maul doubted the reality of her world, but Cobb no longer. For Nolan himself, this is the highlight of the film's finale. In addition, the director emphasizes that if he had given the film an open-ended finale, it would have ruined the idea. It is in the ambiguity, the fundamental insolubility that Nolan sees in Inception. And he deliberately leaves the finish open, giving the viewer an opportunity to answer the question, where is Cobb now? Limbo or in reality? Many viewers point out that in the finale, children have not grown up compared to Cobb's memories, even though several years have passed, and are even dressed in the same clothes. But that's not true. Different actors play the children during the movie, and Nolan remarked that their outfits are actually different. So, after all, the kids had time to grow up. There are other indications that Cobb is likely to be in reality, if you've watched the film carefully, you'll have noticed that in the dream scenes, he is wearing an engagement ring, but in reality, he's not. In the dream, Cobb's father never appears, and in the finale, we see Cobb without a wedding ring, and his father is with him. But none of this is a hundred percent proof that Cobb is actually awake. After all, there's a reason why Nolan makes the spinner top spin but doesn't show the moment of the fall. One minute in the actual world equals 40 hours in the dream world, according to a theory suggested by Reddit user Rootliner Magic. According to this logic, if Cobb's wife Mal was right about being in a dream, she would have awoken in the real world and attempted to wake Leonardo's character as well. As a result, following Mal's suicide, Leonardo's character would not have to spend the next year and a half in the dream. Finally, the idea proposes that Leonardo's character has no recollection of the last time he saw his children, meaning that he has been isolated from them for more than a year and a half and that Mal has died. Another perspective is that Inception is about a father attempting to come home to his children. In truth, the scene's underlying meaning, as we read it, is that Cobb is still dreaming, and his dreams are his new home in the last scene. Ken Watanabe's Sator recruits him for a task that is a big exercise in catharsis for his jaded psyche, allowing him to use his labor and skills to create an ideal reality for himself. Cobb's fantasy reality has repaired his marital problems by the end of the Sato job, and he finds his way home at the end of the movie. The trick is that this home is kept in his mind, similar to how he has saved other memories. Perhaps the point is that a straightforward answer does not exist. Finding meaning for oneself, on the other hand, is a pleasant experience.
one would assume that this was definitely done on purpose to make the ending nearly unanswerable because Nolan doesn't care if Cobb is dreaming or not. I skip out of the back of the theater before anyone catches me, and the audience has a really strong reaction, generally a groan, he continued. The point is that it matters to the audience in absolute terms, even if it's fiction, a kind of virtual reality when you're watching. Thank you for watching. If you like it please like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.